Greetings to you in the precious name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Welcome you all to the month of March. And uh, it's so exciting for me to be declaring the word of the Lord for this month through this video. And uh, I want to decree and declare that this month of March is a month of divine speed and acceleration. You know, we've already seen into this month and we've declared that this month is going to be a month of speed. We are praying last year for 40 days for this entire year. And during that time, the Lord began to impress upon our hearts what is in store for this year. And we began to pray over every month. And uh, the inspiration and the prophetic word that came to us is that this is a month of divine speed and acceleration. So get ready for speed and acceleration in every area of your life. Many times the enemy wants us to be stuck. He wants us to be stagnant. He wants us to remain repetitive. He wants us to continue doing the same things and be in a slow motion, slow paced way. But God is going to change that. Amen. I want to read to you a verse from 1 Kings chapter 18, verses 46. 1 Kings 18, 46. The Bible says, And the hand of the Lord was on Elijah. And he gathered up his garment and ran before Ahab to the entrance of Jezreel. So it is important for you to understand that the hand of the Lord, when it comes upon you, it takes you into dimensions and glory and power that you have never seen before. Because the hand of the Lord is the hand that brings forth that speed and acceleration in your life. So, so Elijah began to see the rain that was coming over Israel because for three years there was a drought. And now he began to hear the sound of the abundant rain. And therefore he told his servant, get ready, go and tell Ahab to ride his chariots and go ahead because the cloud is getting darker. Let's read a few verses above that. Verse number 43. And he said to his servant, go now look towards the sea. And he went up and looked and said, there is nothing. And he said, go again seven times. Can you imagine? This is the same prophet Elijah who was slaughtering the false prophets of Baal just a while ago on Mount Carmel. He brought fire down. After he brought fire down from one mountain, he's now again at the mountain top praying now for the rain to come over the land. And at the seventh time, he said, Behold, a little cloud like a man's hand is rising from the sea. And he said, Go up and say to Ahab, Prepare your chariot and go down, lest the rain stop you. So the rain that was coming was a kind of rain that would even stop kings and queens. So he had to ride fast. He had to go ahead. He had to travel fast. The king himself, I'm talking about. The king had to travel at a certain speed. Now, the prophet Elijah, who had a revelation of the coming rain, had to now go at a faster pace. Oh, I don't know if you're listening this morning. Oh, I don't know which time zone you're listening to me. This word is coming to your spirit. You are about to travel at a speed that is faster than kings. You are about to travel at a speed that is faster than the kings and the merchants of this world because God is giving you divine speed. The understanding of God brings divine speed. Let me say that again. The understanding of God, the revelation of God produces divine speed in your spirit. So as you hear this word, I want you to know that there is a divine speed that is coming upon your ministry, upon your business, upon your finances, upon your life, upon your health. In every area of your life, we need divine speed. You see, God does not give us speed until he gives us understanding because speed without understanding will result in an accident. But speed 
seed with understanding will lead us to the right destination, will lead us into the purposes of God. So God does not want you to be a slow runner, but he wants you to run faster than the kings this season. He wants you to run faster than the merchants of this world because the understanding that is coming upon you is going to protect you from the recession, is going to protect you from the falls of the economy, it's going to protect you from all the losses that the people in this world are going to see in this year. The Lord is going to protect his people because he's granting you understanding. Even before the markets fall, even before things happen, you will have advanced information and knowledge on how to guard yourself and begin to run faster than the kings of this world. Oh, Come on now, if you're receiving this word this day, as you're hearing this word, I want you to begin to praise God in your home, in the place that you are. I want you to begin to lift your hands and thank God. Let there be divine speed in your marriage. Let there be divine speed in the thing that you're praying for. If you're praying for a child, let there be divine speed. If you're praying for a partner, let there be divine speed and acceleration because God is getting ready to accelerate things for his children because when you've heard the sound of the abundant rain when you've heard the sound of the coming moves of God on this earth you can't be quiet you can't be sleeping like everybody else you will be up in the morning and you will be preparing and declaring and dictating to your atmosphere what you must be doing oh is somebody hearing this word I know this word is charging your spirit as you hear this word let your spirit be charged so you can move forward in the mighty power of the most high god oh raka basanta laba begin to give him some praise right now le gropo seke he gathered up his garment he did not leave his garment his mantle down he gathered up his garment so when you run with speed don't just run with no vision but run with the garment run with the mantle of god run with the power of God run with the presence of God because when you gather up the garment that God has given you the mantle that God has put upon you you shall run faster yeah it's the anointing that gives you the speed people of God that's the second thing first is the understanding and revelation the second thing is the anointing that brings speed so gather up the garment gather up your things that God has put within you don't be discouraged this month press forward towards the goal that God has for you march forward because God has a land God has a place that he's going to show you march forward because the spirit of the Lord is opening up doors and dimensions and portals over your life that you have never seen before because this is a month of divine acceleration for the people of God. Everything is beginning to accelerate. You know, even your day-to-day -day work, you will be able to do more than what you have done all these days. And you need to believe God for that. There is efficiency coming at another level. Productivity is coming at another level. You shall become a productive and efficient Christian. You've, you've been praying about winning souls. This is a month to begin to evangelize every day. Begin to pray every day and witness to one soul this month witness to one soul every day begin to pray and declare and go forward and fast and pray for that individual to be saved because if you think that it's going to happen in God's timing let me tell you this is that timing God wants you to begin to press forward and see what is in store for your life hallelujah so begin to lift your hands and thank him this day because God is about to do something powerful people of God something powerful is on the way amen and never fear the Jezebels that are going to rise against the speed and understanding that you have because anytime you gather momentum anytime you gather speed the news reaches the principality of Jezebel Ahab went and told Jezebel what Eli what Elijah had done you see the 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 achievements in the spirit the feats and all that you have achieved in the spirit principalities take note of it but they will not be able to touch you. Lord who is 
the king of kings, the Lord who is the lion of the tribe of Judah is watching over you this month. He will protect you from principalities. He will protect you from powers. He will protect you from witchcraft. He will protect you from spiritual wickedness and high places. He will protect you from enemies. And he is hiding you in his wings. So learn to hide even as you run. Learn to come under the covering of the blood of the Lamb even as you run. Because God is doing something fresh this year. And this month is that month where you will run with speed and acceleration. So may the Lord bless you this day. May the Lord grant you favor this day. And may the supernatural hand of God come upon you this month of March. Have a blessed, blessed, blessed season. And join us this coming Sunday for part four of the revealing of the sons. We're continuing our series and I have a powerful word for you. It'll be live right here on YouTube. And uh, I want you to come and listen and hear the word of the Lord. So get ready because God is about to do something powerful this month of March. And this is your month for divine speed and acceleration.